Hello, today I'm going to be testing Norton Antivirus with Komodo Firewall versus Microsoft Security Essentials versus Nod32 versus Bitdefender Internet Security 2010. Um, I am using just the default um, install uh, setups for all of them. I have pre-installed and pre-updated to uh, save all the time involved in that um, just to be on the safe side. I'll just show that they are completely up to date um, so that you can see. Um, I am going to be showing which uh, which uh, one has the best footprint on your system versus the others as well to see which ones have the best going on. So there's the Norton. It's all completed. The Komodo Firewall, which is going to do an update right now as well. The uh, Microsoft Security Essentials is up to date. The Nod32 is completely up to date. The Bitdefender is just finishing. The Komodo is just finishing. And I'm going to be testing them against uh, zero-day viruses off of malware domain list. Do not go to that site unless you want to get viruses. So they are all completely up to date right now. They all have the same setup, same Windows updates. These are the same virtual machines duplicated uh, many times on the same computer. Uh, you can see them all up here as I go through them. Nod32, Microsoft Security Essentials, Norton Antivirus, plus Komodo Firewall. Now this one here, you'd think, why would you have two antiviruses in there? Well, I don't. Um, I just have a firewall suite, which is really, really good, and Norton, which is really, really good. So I'm running two separate packages that won't conflict with each other. I've tested it in the past. It's actually done very good together. I'm just curious to see if it'll beat the rest of these hands down or if it's going to give it a run for the money. Um, all these other ones that I'm testing I've actually had good luck with in the past. Um, some better than others but uh, I definitely want to test them all and see how they do against uh, the same viruses at the same time. So let's start by opening up uh, the Internet Explorer on all of them. And I'm actually going to allow that. I'm actually going to look at the footprint that they all take up. So this one is Microsoft Security Essentials, which looks like it has two programs running at a total of 87 megabytes, 86, 87 megabytes. So that's a little bit big. Um, I'm going to go to the Komodo Firewall and Norton Antivirus, which I'm just allowing everything to run there. And in here, we're going to have four. We got that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there. For a total of uh, around 30 megabytes, maybe 34, 32. Say 32 megabytes um, in total. So 32 for Norton Antivirus and Komodo Firewall. Uh, 86 for the Microsoft Security Essentials. This is uh, Nod32, which if I look at the... Where are you? Right there and there. So sitting idle on Nod32, we're looking at 56, 57 megabytes. Okay. And then Bit def Bitdefender, we're looking at... Let's take a look through all this. Okay, so we got that one there, which is 11. Um, we got this one here, which is 12. We got this one here, which is 5. And this one here, which is 1. So, not too much, actually. It's a fairly good footprint, actually. This one here just jumped down. Um, so, I'm going to say this one here is probably, to be fair, in the range of... Uh, let's say around 10, 15, 20, let's say 20 megabytes, 22 megabytes 
So right now for system slowness, um, I definitely rate Nod32 and Norton or Microsoft uh, Security Essentials to be the ones that'll tar slow down your system the most out of these four. Maybe Microsoft taking the hit, then Nod32. Uh, then Norton Antivirus Komodo Firewall combination would slow it down the third most. Um, and then uh, and then Bitdefender. Bitdefender uh, has a low footprint right now. Um, so it's actually doing very, very good. Now it's hard to see them all, but I'm clicking through them right now. All the ones that are there. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, let's say around 24. It's not far behind uh, Norton Antivirus and the Norton Internet Security, er, sorry, not Internet Security, Komodo Firewall. These are two separate packages. So, all right. So, I'm going to open up the Internet again on here. And right now we have them all open. I'm going to run a malware domain list test. on the first one here and I'm just going to copy and paste it amongst the rest of them. So we're going to do the same ones. So I'll try them all individually here. So we'll start with this one. See if that one comes up. Which Norton blocked. This one here. This is Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, this might... it stopped it just sitting there like it's a dead link. I'll just throw it at the rest of these. Okay, so that one actually did go through, but it didn't do anything. So this is actually not a very good test one to test. Um, let's try an EXE. Let's try this one here. Alright, so really this one's the first one. Alright, so we're going to run that. Run it. We'll see what happens. Needs attention. This is a Norton antivirus come out of firewall. So, I'm going to view the details on that. Alright, so that's, uh, that's Norton trying to get access to the internet. I'm going to allow that. Um, looks like it's entered the sandbox. Okay, so I'm going to keep that in the sandbox. Uh, it's is safe application. Okay, so I'm going to allow that. Safe application. Allow that. Keep that in the sandbox. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't happen very often, but uh, what happened is the uh, Norton actually crashed on me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot this system. Maybe it had to do with the virus, maybe not. Um, but I can't, uh, I can't continue on without, uh, without actually, uh, having an antivirus in there. It's not an honest test. So I'm just going to reboot this one, and we'll continue on with this one here. So I'm going to run that. We'll run that. See what happens here. Oh. Looks like Microsoft Security Essentials let that one through. Uh, run it on Nod32 here. Run that. And Nod32 stopped it. Gonna go over to Bitdefender. Run the same one. And okay, so it blocked it. I'm gonna block that as well. I'm gonna block them as much as possible right now, and uh, get that to uh, to go about doing its thing. So I'm gonna continue. Oh, security tool. Uh oh. So I'm just gonna kill that because it's gonna make my life a little bit tougher doing a scan on this particular one. So, so far Microsoft Security Essentials has picked it up. So let's say clean. 
All right, so I can see that that one there as well. 